Nam. Hamjambo na karibuni kwa Moving Pictures Kenya. Bila mnaona hapa ndio tunaishi. For the last two days kumekuwa kwa snow. So ukiangalia uh, hii ni snow. Ajua watu wengi wanauliza snow ni nini. So vile nimeshikwa na inayuka kwa mkono. But ukikanyaga ni snow. So under normal circumstances hii uwanja inakuanga uwanja wa watoto wetu kuchezea. Inakuanga green all the time. But for the last two days imekuwa ik snow. So na kuki snow hivi kuna vitu ufanyika vitu nyingi ufanyika. Like for example jana watoto hawakuenda shule kwa sababu kuna ile kitu naita flexible. Unaitwa flexible? Flexible instruction. Yeah, wako na ile kitu naita flexible instruction day. So hiyo ni kama tu watoto watasomea nyumbani. So jana hawakuenda shule kwa sababu ya snow. So for the whole day yesterday kulikuwa kuna snow and that is why unaona hapa kuna kaa hivi. Na mkiangalia vizuri tena unaona kuna kitu kama barabara. Unajua wazungu ni watu wa ajabu. Kwa sababu ni kama siju kama ushawa yenda pahali kwa sherehe unakuta saa zile ngome inaanza kuchezwa. Unakuta tu out of nowhere mtu ametokea na vuvuzela. Na shindu mtu ni gani ametokea na vuvuzela na hata hawako amejipanga. So hapa kuki snow hivi unaona tu out of nowhere wazungu wametokea na zile zile boards za kuski uh, unakuta wameanza kuski hapa na nimekuwa nikishangaa how comes ukiangalia nyumba nyingi sana hapa landscape kuna pahali inakuwa ina slant hivi so ndio nimeelewa ni kama wanatumianga kufanya nini kuski but the main, the main point is hapa ndio tunaishi maybe franco anaweza kuonyesha nyumba zetu hapo zile nyumba zenye tunaishi ndio hizo so kila pahali ni snow ukiangalia gari zote ni snow Nona. So, hiyo ndiyo hali kwa hapa. Na hii snowing inafanyika sana sana uh, in the winter months. Winter months inakuanga December, January, eh, February uh, up to March hapo. Ndiyo utakuta kuna baridi ya kukata na shoka. Kama saa hizi nikiangalia kwa simu, uh, temperature is like about uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Ni kama 14 degrees Fahrenheit ni kama ile ku convert to inakuja ina like um, negative 10 yangaleni how many degrees degrees okay, nafikiri ni negative 10 degrees celsius which of producer wangu hapa francis angalia ni ngapi but ni kama negative 10 what's 14 degrees fahrenheit in celsius una tupia 14 see? degrees fahrenheit yeah. is minus 10 degrees celsius yeah so ni kwa right sasa nataka tuende kwa magari ni waonyeshe but before tuende kwa magari kuna vitu nyingi ufanyika hapa kama huko nyumbani tumezoea wakati ule kuna m, kuna nini ukienda kwa petrol station kuna hii maji ya wipe ya, ya, ya windscreen ya wipe hiyo unaendanga pale na unachota na unafanya nini unaweka tu kwa hiyo hiyo tangi yake na unatumia ku wipe but hapa maji ya wipe inanunuliwa inanunuliwa 7 dollars so nilikuwa nashindwa kwa nini hii maji inanunuliwa but nikaelewa because juzi nilikuwa natoka pahali kwa hii snow na gari yangu ikaisha hiyo maji niliona siku mrefu uko kwa main highway na maji imeisha na uoni mbele ilibidi nitumie side mirrors side mirrors yani naona kule nyuma natoka ndio nijue niko katika kwa barabara vizuri but mbele sioni ukijaribu ku wipe hivi ina windscreen inakuwa chafu so hapo ndio nilielewa umuhimu wa hiyo maji ya ku wipe windscreen na the, the reason why inauzwa hapa ukienda kununua utakuta iko colored tutaenda na nyinyi kwa duka nitaonyesha hiyo maji iko colored ni kwa sababu it's uh, inasaidia wakati kuna baridi hivi haiwezi ku kuji ku condense ika, ika form kukua kukua like ice so inabaki tu kuwa liquid but ukienda uweke maji ya kawaida kwa kwa hiyo hiyo tank then E, wakati kuna snow hivi ama wakati kuna baridi hivi ita condense alafu ita problem nyingi kwa sababu hizo pipe za kupitisho hizo maji utakuta zimepasuka na vitu kama hizo na zikipasuka inamaanisha lazima ufanye nini uende urekebishe hizo pipe na hapa kila kitu ni pesa kuna kitu ya bure but franco acha tuende kwa gari nionyesha vile gari inakaa pia Yeah, so the, the wind kwa nimewambia hii yote ni snow. Na snow inakuwa kama kama ash. Unaona? 
hii ni kama ash but ikiendelea ku condense na kuwa kama sasa uh, kitu kama uh, ice cube ama hii inaitwa ice stones yeah. kitu kama kimawe hivi but ikiwa tukivi yake ni ni hivyo na ni baridi hilo jawaiona so anyway the other thing nilikuwa nataka niwaonyeshe ni kwamba ukiangalia hivi sasa hivi ndio miti zinakaa so wakati wa um, wakati wa winter kuna season huko inaitwa fall so wakati wa winter miti zote zinaangusha matawi then zinabaki kama kuni sasa kama hizi zingekuwa kwa home zingekuwa kuni but saa hizi zimeangusha mat- matawi zote unaweza fikiria zimekufa but hii winter ikiisha then hizi miti zote utakuta zimemea matawi na zimekuwa very green so uh, nitaonyesha clip ya vile hizi miti zinakaa wakati wa sama zinakuwa very green na very beautiful na vile niliwaambia unaweza ona nilikuwa na enjoy hapa ni pale kwa watoto wetu kuchezea so ukiangalia kama hizi ndio mtu za watoto wetu kuchezea and then franco unaweza kuonyesha so kama hii ni ile njia wazungu walikuwa wanatengeneza wakitumia kuski so mtu ana slide kutoka huko mpaka mwisho then kuna kitu kingine nilikuwa nimesahau kuambia unajua uh, kila kitu inakuanga na faida yake na hasara yake so ukisikia mambo ya kusnow then unaweza ona ni hasara kila wakati but kukisnow hivi watu wanapata biashara kama unaweza shangaa ukikuta most americans wako na trucks hizi pickups kubwa hizo ndio wanaendesha so ukiona ukiendesha okay, hivyo unafikiria ah hawa jamaa wanapenda raha lakini wakati wa snow hivi utakuta sasa huku mbele wamefu, wamefunga some plows hizo ndio watakuwa natumia plow hii snow wakitoka wakitoa huko barabara kwa sababu kuna trucks zinapita zinapitanga zikiplow hii snow, hii snow zikitoa huko barabara ndio ndio magari zifanye nini ziweze kupita so like frank acha twende pale chini na onyeshe ile ile kazi ile truck ile inafanya usiku Yeah, so kama vile nilivyoelezea hii sasa ndio place ya watoto kuchezea then sasa ukiangalia miti zote ziko na snow but saa zile jua itakuwa imewaka vizuri i think in the course of next week hii yote itakuwa imeisha then ita, ita, ita melt then itabaki kuwa green vile nyasi inakuanga green but nilikuwa nataka nionyeshe ile kazi ya wale watu wa kutoa snow wanafanya twende pale chini kisongesha kando kando sasa hizi imesongeshwa kando kama tukienda hapo chini utaona a heap of snow yenye walikuwa me, wamesongesha jana usiku then wacha tuende pale chini na kuonyesha magari uh, ni vile singetumia external microphone because kuna a lot of heavy winds hapa so zinaenda na sauti so that's why natumia microphone ya camera ndio mtumie kuona but sasa ukiangalia hivi hapa kuna barabara so kitu kingine nilikuwa nimesahau kuambia but sasa hizi siwezi sioni kwa sababu haziko. Sasa zile snow inakaribia kutokea, wewe unakuta wame sijui kama ni watu wa government ama ni kina nani wanatembeanga wakiweka vijiti kuonyesha pahali barabara inafika. So wanaweka vijiti ndani wakati hizi maluri za kuclear snow zinakuja zina nini? Zina zina clear. Then hiyo hizo vijiti zinaionyesha kama pahali penye barabara imefika and then one still on that so sasa kama hii hapa ni barabara yetu ya kutokea ya kuteremka hapa chini ya yeah, so ndio nilikuwa naonyesha jana usiku kuna lori ilipita hapa hii clear hizi snow yote ikiweka kando kando ndio magari ziweze kupita so ukiendelea kama hapo kuna a heap of snow hii a heap of snow ndio lori ilikuwa inafanya jana usiku iki iki clear ndio watu waweze kupita ndio nikiangalia gari za watu zote ziko covered na snow so hapo ndio unaelewa sasa ni kwa nini mtu ukinunua gari lazima ikuwe na proper air conditioning because ukiingia kwa hiyo gari saa hizi ni baridi sana so lazima ukuwe na hiyo air conditioning wende uichemushe ndio ukae chini so sometimes unakuta zile warm seats zinaitwa nini kuna ile 
kuna hii technology kwa gari ukikalia uh, viti zina ohm sio vile inaitwa kuna magari zingine unakuta uh, kuna some buttons when you press then the seats become warmer so mtu anaweza kununua gari kama hiyo anafikiria ah hii gari yangu ni ya juu the reason why iko hivyo ni wakati kama saa hizi ukiingia kwa gari especially kama gari yako seats ni za leather inakuanga baridi sana baridi kabisa so kama iko na kama kama si leather iko afadhali but kama ni leather inakuanga baridi sana so hizo warmers ndio zinasaidia kuwarm hiyo kiti ndio kikalia usifeel baridi because kama saa hizi baridi iko hapa saa hizi hapa kwa longi na feel ni kama mwenye nimemwagiwa nime maji naona baridi iko hapa kali sana uh, then kitu kingine na gari ndio nakuta ukienda kununua gari pia unaangalia whether it's uh, four wheel drive it's front wheel drive or it's all, all wheel drive so tofauti ni kwamba um, ukinunua gari hapo unaangalia <coughs> wewe unaweza kuitumia wakati wa sama na wewe unaweza kuitumia wakati wa winter na wewe unaweza kuitumia in any season so that is why twengi wakinunua hapa gari wananunua an all wheel drive car ama kama sio all wheel ni four wheel so that wakati wa um, winter kama saa hizi kama kuna snow kama saa hizi then hiyo all wheel inakusaidia because kama ni gari ya chini then believe it or not gari itakuwa makwa hii snow na baadhi ya mnaweza kuwa mnashangaa jamaa anachapa story pia anaitwa nani mimi naitwa Bonventure and this is moving pictures Kenya kawaida huwa anapenda kuvaa hii shuka ya kimasai because it makes us when we are here in the diaspora it makes us very proud wazungu wakiona hiyo wanasema eh hey, your scarf is very nice so huwa na vai ya kimasai it makes us always feel proud it makes us always feel Kenyan but when we come to see hii ndio gari na car so ukiangalia imefunikwa na snow kila pahali so kuna some special things you are supposed to do to, to the car ndio uweza kuiendesha so acha niende nilete nionyeshe vile tunafanya Eh, by the way ndiko sijawaeleza ukisikia kama hii gari pale ina guruma mwenyewe ameiwasha akarudi kwa nyumba so kuna kuanga na njia nyingi hapa kuna ile eh, kuna wale watu kio kwa nyumba unawasha gari inawaka and then una, una switch on ile air conditioning so that gari i warm so kama hii mwenyewe amewasha and then ako huko ndani na warm ikisha warm vizuri ataingia aendesha aende otherwise ukiingia ndani it's too cold So kama sasa mimi gari yangu ndio hii hapa. So ukiingia ndani saa hizi iko very cold. But nimeiwasha haina ile 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 system ya kuiwarm kama uko nje. So lazima uingie ndani uwashe ili kuwe sawa. Sasa kuna kitu kingine nataka niwaonyeshe. Hapo nilikuwa nimeifungua. So unaona sasa kama hapa ndio kuna handle but imefunikwa na snow wizi kujo na ni baridi ile uja wetu jawai yona. Kuna tuna fungua tu. Nakata. So chani jaribu kufungua tena siji kama gari imefreeze naona kuna ngumu ni freeze hii ni sana ile imeanguka ndani wakati ni kubwa so kuna hii kitu hapa kuna hii kitu hapa hii kitu iko very important because sasa hii ndio itakusaidia tuseme kama ukienda kwa job hii kitu lazima ukue nayo kwa gari because hii ndio inakusaidia kutoa snow
hapa nikani sana baridi mpaka vitu zimeanza kunduka dunga sijui ni nini <laughs> so sasa hivi ndio naona so hii gari was not And by the way, on a serious note, when I do these things, when I do these things, I will be able to do it. But I will be able to do it. Because if I have to do it, I will be able to do it. I will be able to do it. But because of that, I will be able to do it. That is why I will be able to do it. So if I am a man, use every little cent you have to do it. I will be able to do it. I will be able to do it. I will be able to do it a few years from now. What is it going to do? Kama mimi umeka hapa almost two years now, I'm still struggling to make things meet, I mean to make ends meet. But we compare my kind of life, na ya wale wako Kenya, niko a lot better than them. Na niko sababu of the sacrifices my parents made many years ago. Kama ungekua nasema wacha tu sijui ni na nini, bada tungekua huko na tunafanya kazi ya ijulikani. But tunasafisha ganso. Even if you're fine. So, you want to be clear, and then he, he has a sassan here, clean. So, you know, you have a sassan here. Atu ungesemu ufanya na waipa, hainge toshea. Na by the way, sijuika mahi gari itawaka. Nitajari mfuwasha nione. But ndi ujila nilikuwa na wambia. Gari kikuwa na snow hivi. Kamu ulikuwa meka hile maji ya kawaida kwa hile hile nini. Hile kitu ya kuwipe windscreen. Then hiyo maji ita freeze. Alafu ita vunja hizo pipe zote. Na ita kuletea asara kubwa. So, kienda romo unafanya bile wa romo unafanya. Otherwise, ingienda pale kwa tap ni chote maji. Saizi ingikui mefreeze hapa na hinge nisaidia. Na hata wale watu wanye hizi nyumba Wana kuambia ta taps kwa nyumba Unafungua wakati wa sinu hivi Zikuwe zina run You see? Ndiyo hizo pipes Isi block By the way, if you want to do this, this is my first time. So, if you want to do this, you will be able to do this. But you will be able to do this for the first time. It's always a learning experience. You will be able to do this. 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 So, you will be able to do this. So, you will be able to do this. This is also frozen. Mkona yangu ni na freeze na kufa Sa wacha tuwane kama itawaka
ndio hii niliwaambia hii sasa hii yote ni snow naona ukifanya hivi inaanguka so saa zile upepo itapita hizi ni zote zitaanguka hii yote nateleza na hii yote inakuanga uwanja so lakini kitu moja ya kushangaza it is not as cold as i thought as much as it's negative 10 i think because of video yenye natokea huku hapa it's a bit warmer it's not as cold but i wanted to show you how it looks like when it snows so and then the other thing is the way you are was okay what we ajabu because that wale tunafanya nao kazi watu walikuwa nasema wanatamani snow sana walikuwa nasema wana miss snow so snow size ndio hii imetokea na hivi ndio hapa kuna ka so in my next video i will drive around the good thing with this is it uh, when you drive around it is very beautiful unakuta kila pahali yani it's just pure beauty so to drive around to onyesha vile nakaa hapa wakati kuna snow the landscape is very beautiful